Hey reviewers and welcome back to the channel and if you're new here my name is Jonathan and welcome to reviews. In this video courtesy of China's BMW we're taking a first look at the all new 2022 BMW i4 with a full review and drive to follow shortly. The 2022 BMW i4 is built on the Grand Coupe platform and is made in the very same factory as the other models. However, the i4 is the all electric entry in what is already a comprehensive EV lineup from BMW. Here in the UK, prices start from £53,480 for the Sport trim level and up to £65,795 for the Mighty M50. Starting with the outside of the vehicle. The BMW i4 is a mid-sized luxury coupe and being an EV the BMW i4 has been aerodynamically optimised and has lots of blue design touches throughout the vehicle to easily identify one from a distance. The 4 Series Grand Coupe has always been a favourite of mine as I think it offers that perfect middle ground of a sporty yet practical vehicle with the bias being towards sporty. Regarding trim levels there are three to choose from, this starts with the Sport, then you have the M Sport and finally the proper M model in the M50. The Sport does offer a huge range of features, however I think the M Sport is where the majority will be looking as this offers the best overall package of styling and equipment. Being an all-electric vehicle of course you won't see any petrol or diesel options here, however you do still have the choice of two power plants. A 250kW 340 horsepower version with the Sport and M Sport models, or a 400kW 544 horsepower version with the incredible M50 that can propel you to 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.9 seconds or less. Now let's take a look at the interior. Starting with the boot you get 470 litres on all trim levels and you can expand this to an impressive 1290 litres when you fold the rear seats down. Much like its sibling the 3 Series space is great for passengers in the rear with comfortable seats, ambient lighting and tech to keep everyone happy. At the front the main cabin is of course where the vehicle really shines. The BMW i4 uses the very latest iDrive suite and has an almost IMAX like wraparound high resolution screen with touchscreen functionality. I won't spoil this for you as I will be covering it in the full review but for now let's just say it's very impressive. When sitting in the i4 it really does feel like something special and that this truly is a next generation electric vehicle. BMW have used the experience gained from previous models and stepped it up many notches to deliver what I believe to be one of the best looking electric vehicles you can buy right now. I will be covering the safety features and technology in detail plus much more in the full review and this is when we will be taking her out on the road and putting all of the i4's technology to the test. This brings us to the end of our first look video and I will be recording the full review and drive in the coming weeks. Big thank you to Chandler's BMW in Brighton for providing this i4 for the video, contact details for them are in the description. And before you go, I have a question for you. Now that we have the whole range of BMW cars to review for the channel, including the M range, tell me in the comment section which cars you would like to see reviewed next. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and it's the best way you can support this channel and help it to grow. Plus I have an Instagram, Facebook and website, so make sure to check those out too, links in the description. And if you'd like to see some more car content, there's going to be some suggested videos and reviews on your screens now. So thanks very much for watching and as always, stay safe, have fun and I'll see you on the next one.